Hey everybody, Neil Malik from Knack Training bringing another everyday office video. And in today's video, I want to talk to you about recalling emails within Outlook. Now, there is a functionality if you go into your sent items to go to any individual email that you send out and try to recall that email. But the problem is that we live in the year 2020, and that means that all these emails that you send out, 10, 15, 20 seconds later, somebody's already read that email. And recalling it is basically inconsequential at that point. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to replicate the feature that is in Gmail for being able to recall emails, where Gmail actually waits to send it out. Let me illustrate. I'm going to go to my ribbon at the top of the screen here in Outlook, go to Rules, and go to Manage Rules and Alerts. The reason I go to Manage Rules and Alerts is because this is the one that gives me all the options, and I love options. All right, so I go to Manage Rules and Alerts, and in here, when I go to New Rule, this is the type of rule that very few people ever use. Most people who make rules make rules when an email comes into them, when they receive that email, and they want to organize themselves automatically. What we're going to do is set up a rule every time you send an email instead. So then I click the next button right here, and I decide on a condition if that's appropriate. Now the condition would be why you would hold on to an email, why you would hesitate in sending that email. I'm going to say there is no reason not to hesitate. And so I'm going to leave all these checkboxes empty, click Next, and you'll see that it says, are you sure that you want to apply this to every single email you ever send? I click Yes. And then right here at the bottom, we have a checkbox that says, defer delivery by a certain number of minutes. Now I can click in here and say, oh, let's give it five minutes, right? After five minutes, we'll send that email out. Now, are there any situations where that should not be the case? When I go to next, I can say, for example, uh, that if I send it to my boss, right? So I'll go here to people or public group and I'll identify my boss and say, except if I'm sending it to Alejandro. If I'm sending an email to Alejandro and I make a mistake in that email, it doesn't really matter that much to me. But everybody else in the world, I am concerned about. So now I go ahead and click next and call this delay five minutes. and turn it on and click Finish. And now, as I work in Outlook, if I write a new email to Alejandro, you'll see that this immediately goes out. Watch the left side of my screen. You'll watch the Outbox first and then Sent Items. You see, for a moment, it's in my outbox, and then that fades away, and my sent items is where that email goes. Now watch me send an email to literally anybody else on the planet. I write a new email. Uh, let's say I send this to Carrie. And this time around, when I press send, watch the outbox. You see how that one is not fading away? That's because Outlook is holding on to this for the next five minutes. And if I realize this was a mistake, I can double click on it to reopen it and make edits to it, or I can click on it and delete it altogether. So that simple outgoing rule allows us to pause, to hesitate, and to see whether or not we need to fix emails as they're going out.